Hi everyone, it's Kara, and I thought I would do a quick video today about the tape runners that I like to use. I know in other videos I've talked about the fact that as far as for liquid adhesives, I really like um, Glossy Accent, I like the Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and I like the Scotch Quick Dry, but I really haven't talked too much about um, tape runners, so I thought I'd do a quick video. I use both of these and both of them need to be refilled, so I thought this would be a good time to do it because I could show you how they are refilled. But I wanted to talk about them a little bit first. Um, basically, I started using these smaller ones because I had the ATG gun and I had a smaller version of that as well, and they just took up so much space on my desk. Um, the ATG gun in particular for me was just difficult to load, it was always kind of a sticky mess and I just didn't like it, so I started looking for smaller ones. I found this one first, and it is um, one that my local a local stamp store carries. It's plus glue tape, and you can see, hopefully, it's permanent with a honeycomb dot pattern, and it is refillable, and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I don't honestly remember because I bought it quite a while ago, but I want to say it was in the 3 or $4 range. It wasn't too pricey, and they do have other options. Um, they have, I think, a green one that has a different maybe width to the tape and I, a couple others, but I liked this one. And then I started to see this stamp runner being used quite a bit. This is by Tombow. It's dot adhesive. And a couple of the, my favorite people that I love to watch on YouTube, Jennifer McGuire has it, and I think Christina Warner has used it as well, and several others, so I decided to give it a try because I saw it at Michael's, and I really do like this. It has a couple of great features that I'm going to show you after we refill it, okay? So let me show you. Um, I'm more familiar with doing this one. I've done it before. This one I haven't, so we'll figure this one out together. And basically, I'm going to take the top off. On the back of this one, you have some directions, and it tells you to um, push up. And basically this little pink part is the part that comes out like so and that is garbage here is the new one I took it out of the packaging and you basically just take off this little piece right here pull it out turn it over click it in place push that down and you're done the nice thing about this one aside from the fact that it's pretty small it has a little groove here so you know that that's the top part so that when you apply it and you push down it goes just like that and hopefully you can see there's the little pattern okay so it's super simple inexpensive um, it doesn't it'll rub off like if you put it in the wrong place as well so that's a nice feature you can see that you can take it off um, Jennifer McGuire also has a video on her adhesives where she talks about a lot of the ones that she likes and um, I really, that's one of the reasons I got this one because this has that same feature that you can kind of rub off the adhesive in case you stick it down in the wrong spot. So let's do this one and we're going to try this together. On the bottom it has some directions on how to open it so I'm going to click it over there and okay so it opens like that. Let's take the old one out. Oh, I'm going to take the lid off too. Let's see if I can get this one off. Okay, so that's garbage. Here's how the refill looks. And I'm not the most graceful of person doing this. So if this seems a little fumbly, it's probably more me than the product. So I'm going to have it like that. I'm going to take out this piece right here and I'm pretty sure it goes just like that. Take off this other back piece. Let me see. Did all that, did all that. Removed it. Yeah, and I think, if I remember right, you need to tighten this a little bit just to get the tape going. And then close it up. Put that little notch back into place. And let's see. Maybe I needed to advance it a little bit more. There you go. Okay. And there is the pattern it puts down. The dot pattern. Okay. And this one, like the other one, you can rub off if you put it in the wrong place. I was like 
so excited when I saw that you could do this. I was watching Jennifer McGuire's video and had no idea, but it's a great feature. You can just rub it off and there's no sticky residue. It's wonderful. So there's that. Now the other reason that I liked this new one that I have, this particular one, because in addition to that line that I just did, you can also, like if you wanted to just do it in the corner, stamp down and have that little piece right there. So I thought that was awesome. So if you don't want to use a whole bunch of adhesive, you could just do it in the corners, one in the middle, and call it good. Okay? So this is my new favorite. I'm going to keep using this one because I like its portability. So if I, you know, have a weekend trip to the cabin, I can bring a small one and it won't take up that much room. So I'm still going to keep this one around. And then I also picked up the blue one to try which is this one. So I thought I'd pull that out so we could check it out too. It's another Tombow Stamp Runner. The one I first showed you is the dot adhesive. That's the pink one. This one says it is permanent. So we will see. Maybe that means we won't be able to rub the adhesive off like on this one. So you can see that it's completely gone. And there's no, I can, you'll have to trust me, but there's no sticky residue. So that's from the pink one. Blue one looks like it's set up similar. So let's do, there's the line, and that line is solid. No dots, no pattern, you can see that. And you still have the option of leaving a little square behind. You can see that right there. Let's see, can I, yeah, it doesn't wanna, it'll, yeah, it'll still rub off, but not quite as easily and it did leave a little teeny mark in the paper. So, probably if you're worried about where you're placing your adhesive, you should use the pink one, or if you like that little dot pattern better, but if you want solid, permanent adhesive, you could use that one. I wanted to mention, too, that the reason I ended up with the blue one is I got this little, like, I don't know if they called it a kit or a package deal. Um, I found... I think it came up in my feed on Facebook that the Tombow website was having a sale and basically the sale was you get the pink and the blue runner oops the pink and the blue runner and I think it's two refills for the blue and a, and a refill for the pink and I want to say at the time I bought it it was like seven eight dollars and their shipping is very reasonable and I went back and looked yesterday and they are still having a sale on that package it's a closeout deal on the Tombow site and I want to say it's like right about $10. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you get two tape runners and three refills. So that's, I, I don't know ballpark, but I want to say these are around $5 online each. And then the refills I think are like around three or four. So if you guys want to check that out, just put in the Google search Tombow and go to their main website, click on the sale tab. I want to say it's going to be on the right hand side of your page. I'll try and put a link down below and check it out and you can grab some of those up as well. And I also picked up some more refills for this because they were on sale at the time too. So you might want to check that out. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I will be happy to get back to you. And as always, guys, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.